Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And guys, I want to introduce to you the Amazonian Maze. Now, this was made available to me through the Amazonian Rainforest Pack DLC that's been available. I don't normally like to purchase DLCs for this game unless I absolutely feel that they're necessary or they can benefit me in some way as opposed to just playing right through the game free. However, this one has such such an ability to be able to gather money and XP that it, I do believe it's going to be able to advance me to higher levels at a much greater rate. Plus, it gives you 30 free days here in this higher level on the map, which I believe you normally have to be a level 68 to reach. And it also gives you 30 days of premium. It gives you a, a brand new bass boat. It gives you quite a bit of fancy heavy duty gear. And honestly, it's just a lot of darn fun because there's a lot of species in this game. I mean, we are talking, look, check this out, guys. We are talking Arapaima. We are talking Biara, which is what they call the vampire fish. We are call, talking bull sharks. Bull sharks, guys. 400 pound bull sharks. Electric eels. Different types of catfish and peacock bass. Some things I've never even heard of. Jacunda. I'm not sure what that is exactly. Cichlids, like Oscars. The Pariba. Like I said, lots of catfish. Even a barracuda. And of course, piranha. Here's yet another catfish called the Ripsaw catfish. The Silver, silver Arowana. Yet another catfish, more peacock bass, and something called a terhera. Not sure what that is either. <laughs> These are all unusual and strange species. I think many of them are in the cichlid families. But this really opens up some amazing ways to go up in levels, guys, because some of these can go into the thousands of XP and thousands of dollars in game. So definitely worth your time definitely worth the money and if you you know get a chance it'll give you 30 days to level up as much as you can so you know it's up to you guys you can check out what i'm going to do here and see i think one of the first things i want to show you guys now i did jump in here and play around with it quite a bit because it is a massive map As you can see, just from this picture, it is called an Amazonian maze because that's exactly what it is. There's so much of it to cover, I'm not even sure if I'll ever be able to cover all of it, especially in this 30 day period. But I did do some research on YouTube. There's a lot of good YouTubers out there that have covered a lot of the good spots to fish. And I'm going to take you to some of the ones that these guys have been able to point out. The one I'm going to take you to today is what many of them have called the Arapaima Cove. And this is a great grinding spot in order to level up, get XP, and get plenty of cash. Now I have already traveled here, so we won't have to take that route. It does take a little while to get there. I'm going to go ahead and jump in a private room so you guys can see. Now it's just starting to go into a peak. And I thought one of the YouTubers had said the peaks don't matter. Honestly, kind of does, especially with these Arapaima. I tried coming in a non-peak period and wasn't catching many of them, honestly. But they do seem to be biting at the peaks, and the peaks at night are pretty prevalent. A lot of good night fishing here. Let me check out the map here again. If you check on here... Usually there's a massive peak each night. Doesn't matter what the weather is. As you can see, first part of the night usually has some massive peaks. Now cloudy days are the only ones that it is not. It's usually in the middle of the day, in the middle of the night. That's the only one that's not like that. There's also a ton of new baits that we can deal with, some of which you can purchase. And I'll show you some of them. Some of them I can purchase, some of them I cannot yet. 
uh, the things like the meat chunks, huge cut bait, the chicken livers we can't get to yet. That will be when as, as we level up. Large liver, I tell you, I've been wanting to be able to fish with liver in this game ever since the game started. That's what I use for catfish. However, you can use large minnows for many of the things, which I probably am going to go ahead and buy some more. Can never have too many of them. Uh, another thing that you get in here is you get this rod here. It's called the Tropicana 7 foot by 7 inch. Goes up to 88 pound test. You also get the Ballerina 7500 SC. This is a reel that goes to 83 pounds. You also get some massive titanium leaders. This one here is, if I'm not mistaken, 81.5 pound test. And you get some pretty good size. Uh, uh, you also get some pretty good size lures like the six inch crawl, which they really like. The Arapaima will bite on those pretty heavily. I'm not sure about anything else yet. I haven't tried. I've, like I said, I've just jumped in and tried the Arapaima. Managed to catch a few of the other species. Now, I think prior to this, I did do a little bit of fishing. I don't know if I have any of them up on here. I do have a few of them in here, not too many yet. I have a young Arapaima. As you can see, XP's 1280 for a young one. It's 76 pounds. <laughs> A regular ones around 150 and a trophy ones I'm not even sure what a trophy one would be uh, a couple of ripsaw catfish and a trophy red belly piranha that's what I've gotten so far on this particular day the day before that I basically got around 50,000 cash and somewhere in the area of about 15,000 XP this is where the XP is to be gathered, guys. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. Bottom fishing works very well with the Arapaima. You can also lure fish for them, or you could also fish for them with floats. Thing is, the float only float I have at the point, at this point right now, is my Brutus rod, and it only goes to 35 pound test. Let me see if I. I thought I had it right there. Here it is. Anyway, 35 pound test. You can catch them. I did manage to catch a regular size one. Took me about 15, 20 minutes real time <laughs> to catch him. I'm telling you, that's going to be a major undertaking if you want to do that, but you can do it. And I usually try to use the barbless 10 aught hooks for these guys because the XP is higher. Anytime you use barbless, that XP will be higher for any fish. And it's a little more of a challenge, but it has got a much better payoff. Now let me go ahead and get the bottom rods here set up. I'm going to set this one out with a 6 odd hook. Because I'm going to be fishing for catfish. I think the rip saws are out here. I've been catching them there, so I'm going to continue to do it. Now this bottom rod is not that powerful. It's only like 33 pound test. I don't know that I could pull an error payment in with that. You can already see we're getting activity. And that's one thing that the error payment will do right here. You can see those markers that I've got right there. They will come up, swim around, you know, wave their fins at you, tease you, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. But looks like I'm already getting a bite. Jeez, I just stuck it out there. Let's see what we got here, guys. Yeah, I'm getting a little tongue-tied tonight. Sorry about that. That's kind of weird. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. We have us a silver croaker. There you go. Kind of reminds me of a drum. Heck, they might even be in the same family. I don't know for sure. Not a lot of XP or cash, but I think they come in unique sizes, so still a new another species to be seen. Yeah, some of them don't pay off real well, but they're fun to catch. Now this is what we need to be fishing with. 
Now there are some other baits that you can use, but they're going to cost you gold coins or bait coins. And one, I've got a few of them just so that you can see how well they do. Gosh, they're really biting. But we're going to throw this right here where this marker is. The markers is where I've caught Arapaima already. Let me show you what I've done so far. I caught, caught them pretty much close together. I caught a regular one here at 109 pounds. And the one I caught here... Oh, I thought that was another one. Huh. I'll be darned. I thought I had two of them marked. We'll go ahead and get rid of that, but it was a trophy era payment that I'd also caught there, but we're going to get rid of that one. I must have marked it incorrectly. Well, we've got us an era payment out there carrying around. But here we got the Bandit Ericu Minnows, and they do go for these. Oop, I need to take that tension down. Last thing in the world I need to do is to snap that. But yeah, that marker is where they can be found, and actually they can be found anywhere around in that area. I'm going to see if they'll go for this crawl. But yeah, if you fish anywhere in this area, you have a good chance of getting them. It looks like we've got one already here, guys. I'm going to put this down then. And I can tell you right now, this is an Arapaima you will soon see that they have a definite pattern on how they fight. They, it's like they pulse fight. They release it, then they grab it, then they release it, and then they'll gra just run like that. See? I'm not even... not even budging him. <laughs> Usually the best way to handle this situation is just to hold it way up like this and just try to bring them in whenever they let up a little and then just kind of hold it and they're going to they're gonna take it. This sometimes can take a while guys. I mean, you got to fight them. Now this rod, I believe, has like 50 pound test, or close to it. Maybe it's 44. Now I know that's the one that I was catching the silver croaker on. I'm not worried about that one so much. I know this is an Arapaim I want to bring it in, so... We're going to continue to fight this guy. Try not to let it get slack in it though, because again, this does not have a barb on the hook. So they can get off of it. Damn, he is really determined. Sometimes you can use those pulses to your advantage when it starts to... Of course, he's just taking another run at it but yeah keep it up guys you got to keep a little bit of tension on this and this is probably the best way Delagaba showed me this a long time ago oh, there he goes again yeah this may take a little while guys so I think I will let you guys go for a moment and I'll bring you back well guys he got off the daggone hook but I do have another one biting off of this one so not a big well shoot never mind he got off too <laughs> yes yeah, some of this gear is not really big enough for this yep he got off the darn hook I thought I had enough tension on it, but I think we're going to get one here anyway, so we'll see what this one is.
Oh, we're going to get plenty of bites. What do we got here? Another silver croaker. Okay, that one's still out there. I think I might throw that. I think I had a bite on this one earlier, and he quit. Nope, he got off the hook. Darn it. When I was fighting that other one, I thought it was the catfish one, but it wasn't. Alright, we're going to try this one again. I'm going to try a little bit over to the right this time, though. Or not the right, the left. <laughs> Don't know my directions. There we go. And we'll see if we can't do something with this. See, there's an Arapaima right there. Poking his little head out. Well, there's nothing little about his head. We're going to try this crawfish. I've had him bite on this pumpkin crawl a few times. Using a stop and go. There we go. Yep, I think we got us another one. Oh yeah, definitely. Not sure, but this might be a young one. Even the young ones are huge. Gosh, there's another one out there. Yep, I think we got a young one here. He's still giving us a pretty good fight. <laughs> yep, young Arapaima, twenty nine nineteen cash, seven ninety two XP. I want you guys to see this. That is a little fella. <laughs> yeah, 56 inches, 53 pounds. He's small. He's a baby. <laughs> These fish get massive. They're really going for the large menace today. Let's see here. Okay, not sure just yet. Well, it's definitely an Arapaima. I'm just not sure about the size. I don't know, that looks a little big to be a young one. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a little bit bigger. Oh yeah. Trust me, you're going to be busy. Plenty of action. Yeah, this is either a very large young one or a common size, I think. Yeah, I don't know. He's 
Yeah, it's strike timed out. Yeah, I know you could put these down and get the other ones, but with the barbless hooks, that usually gives them enough slack to where they can get off of there. And if it's not crucial, and I know I've got one, especially if I know I've got a big one, I am not going to let him go. Yeah, see how they pulse like that? Oh, he's not done. Jeez. Not even close. Well, he's definitely not a young one. Holy crap. He may be bigger, either a very large comet or a trophy. Alright guys, I'm finally making some headway with him. This has been going on a while. He keeps bolting. I've already had two other fish on other lines and they've gotten away. Because I was fiddling with this so long. So I may have lost, may have lost my bait on those. Jeez. I've actually gotten it within 30 already, more than once. Then he bolts way out and takes it to the point where I... the numbers are high again. God, there he goes again, back over to 50. Yeah, this one's definitely worth losing the other ones, I'm pretty sure of that. We got him. We got him. Yep, he's just a regular one. But, at 69.15 cash, 117 pounds, and 3,261 XP, definitely worth the time. Let's show you just how much bigger just the common are. Twice the size of the previous one. Now the trophies are just phenomenal looking. And I have yet to see unique. Trophies as big as I've got so far. I think I'm going to put this one a little to the right this time. Shoot, I cannot believe I lost two of them. <laughs> That's frustrating. Let's see. I'm sure I've lost my bait off of these two. Yep, they got away with my bait. I also thought I'd go ahead and implement one of the missions for Amazonian Maze Exploration. And this is just to complete, since we're catching fish kind of randomly here, there's already two that we've managed to catch. The, well, we got to travel to the Amazonian Maze, but I thought it was two. But the other one was Red Belly Piranha. We need to catch these five. The, Red-tailed Barracuda, Flagtail Proculitus, Spotted Araku, Oscar, and Banded Araku. Since we might run into them, we might as well keep it up. Who knows, we might be able to get another 10,000 cash. Definitely worth the trouble. Let's see what we got here. Something is biting over there. I don't know what it is, but... Now we are getting into 
the late evening. The peak is getting bigger. Our chances of catching them are higher. I'm really surprised I haven't gotten one off this crawl. Try this a little bit faster. Wait a minute, there's one. Swim it around. And he is determined to... Okay, let's see what we got off of this. <coughs> I think we got us a piranha this time. Yep, a trophy red belly piranha. 370. Hey, look at those choppers. Yeah, you got some teeth. I might train change this to something a little different. Let's see. Let's try the let's try the clam meat. See if that gets anything different. Looks like we got us another one here. Let's try not to let that tension get low this time. Oh boy. This is a big fella. Okay, whatever we got on this one is pretty good size. I'm gonna grab this real quick. It's probably risky, but this is definitely bigger than what we had the last time. Ah, oh, damn it! He still got loose, but. We got us a trophy flat whiskered catfish. Now that's an interesting looking specimen. Look at those whiskers on that guy. Granted, he wasn't worth as much as the other one, I'm sure, but still. Nice to get a different type of fish. And we better check this one because, yep, he got the bait. And I'm going to put this one down here. There we go. Yeah, now this rod can handle it. They seem to be more off to the left tonight. Let's take the tension up just a little bit. 
Yeah, this is probably the young Arapena. And he's still giving me a pretty good fight. Damn. This guy does not want to be caught, but he is caught. Yep, another young one, but a good size young one at 1,014 XP, 66 pounds. Darn near out, darn near out of these banded Ericu minnows, though. Yeah, let's try that over there this time again. Got here. Probably another piranha. Nope. It is one of those ripsaw catfish. It's an odd looking fish. Eight oh five, fifty six eight. XP, eh, not too bad. Well, they have not been going after the crawl, which is really strange, because they did so well the day before. Might try something else here. Probably swim baits. Not sure how they're gonna do. I've tried them before and nothing seemed to be going for them. Maybe today's a different day. I'll be damned. There we go. Now they go for it. Now on a cloudy day, they went for the crawls. Partly cloudy. A dual swim bait. Two but one half ounce with an eight odd hook. <laughs> Let's see what we got here, guys. Young Air Pema, another 759 XP. Let's see, we're kind of learning here as we go. There we go. Oh yeah, we definitely got another one. Seem to be getting the young ones though. I don't know. I'm not sure what this is. Holy crap! There we go. Cool. So you red eye piranha. It's my first unique in this game. Well, not the game, but the first unique on the map. Oh man, those are some teeth. Jeez. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh man, he is he's fat.
There we go. We are going to keep him. <laughs> interesting species here. Let's see what this is. Seems like we're not getting the piranhas off of these, but usually catfish species. Another ripsaw catfish. It's almost like somebody took a catfish and a sturgeon to combine them. <laughs> okay, we're going to throw this one right over here. see if we can get anything off of this one. Oh wow. Definitely got one on this one. Okay, he is very much an arapaima. Most likely not a young one. No, not a young one. Holy crackies. This may take a while. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably going to be less when we do before it turns night. Alright guys, I want to let you know that that last fish I fought for over darn near an hour real time. And I think it was glitching out. It would not come in no matter what I tried. I even put the pole down and it still kept staying basically out and fighting. It was weird. I have seen bugs in this game before and every now and then they happen. Since this is a fairly new map it's probably a good possibility that that's what was happening so I had to cut the line and then advance it to the next day. We're gonna pull in one more of these guys here can manage to get this one in and not have any freak situations happen again. Now he seems to be coming though. I don't, I don't know. He's a pretty good fighter. But yet yeah, it's like the Rod was bouncing around and the line was popping all over the place. I saw that happen one other time on LaCroix with a blue catfish. And it was happening when I was using gear that was a little bit light for the situation. And I think that may have been sort of the same situation here. It's like it's... Normally you get higher XP for light gear, but if it's right on the border being heavy enough or a bit too light, it wigs the AI off. <laughs> well, this guy is not giving up the ghost too easily. Yeah, but this is <coughs> reacting very differently than the other one did.
Plus, this is a much heavier rod. And, of course, we got another one. And we got it. He's a young era payment, 76 pounds, 42, 15 cash. Apparently I've got another one on here and I... Oh, nope, he got my bait. Well, that's alright. We have done actually very well. Managed to pull in another 30,000 cash the night before, even though I lost that one. But anyway guys, this is where you need to do the battle, and it is a battle, let me tell you. Lots going on here, lots of big, big fish. Hopefully you won't have the same incident that just happened to me. I think once I get enough cash, I'm going to buy some heavier bottom rods, and I think that should eliminate the situation. If I had caught it on this one, I probably would have been able to get it in. I'm sure it was probably a unique. It had to be. As long as that thing fought, there's nothing else it could have been. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.